Let's begin with the scapular landmarks today. So the surface landmarks of scapula can be seen here. So first, uh, what is a uh, scapular region? The scapular region or the shoulder region mainly comprises the structures which are closely related to and they are surrounding the shoulder joint. If you see here, uh, the scapula is nearer to the shoulder joint and thus the structures which are also uh, related to the scapula are also related to the shoulder joint. So let us check out the bony landmarks which are palpable in the scapula. You can also check it out by means of your friend. You can palpate them so that it will be very much uh, useful. So let's start with acromion first. So if you see the acromion will be over here right. It's not shown here but the acromion will be here right. So the acromion is palpated and even the crest of the spine and the medial and this is the medial border this is the lateral border these are also palpated and also the inferior angle of the scapula all are felt by the skin because they are all like subcutaneous structures whereas coming to the upper half of humerus you know here will be the humerus bone till here right so the upper half of humerus is covered on anterior side this is posterior side right on anterior side posterior side lateral side lateral side means this side so completely on the anterior posterior lateral side the upper half of humerus is covered by the deltoid muscle and you know the deltoid muscle is triangular in shape and forms a rounded contour this is called as rounded contour if you see your shoulder you will observe this rounded contour that is mainly because of the deltoid muscle which is covering the upper half of humerus on the anterior side posterior side and lateral side and the greater tubercle you can see here this is a greater tubercle you can also feel it if you press it somewhat deeper into your friend's hand the greater tubercle of humerus forms most lateral bony point of the shoulder so it forms a most lateral so always remember the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle are on the lateral side of the humerus especially the greater tubercle of the humerus forms a most lateral bony point of the shoulder next coming to the skin so skin covering of the shoulder region is supplied by so what nerves are supplying them the lateral supraclavicular you know here will be your clavicle right so the lateral supraclavicular nerve is supplying over the upper half of deltoid so this upper half of deltoid you can see this upper half is nearer to the clavicle hence the supraclavicular nerve is supplying the upper half of deltoid and the upper lateral cutaneous nerve of arm you know upper lateral cutaneous nerve of arm uh, is supplying over the lower half of deltoid and also the dorsal ramae of upper thoracic nerves over the back that is over the scapula so what they mean once again let us repeat what are the three nerves so mainly if you find the three nerves are supplying this scapular region the first nerve is the lateral supraclavicular which is supplying the deltoid which is near to it right next comes the upper lateral cutaneous nerve of arm you know upper lateral in the name itself the lateral cutaneous nerve will supply the lateral half of the upper part of humerus so even as i said the deltoid is present anterior posterior and lateral to the humerus so the lateral part of the deltoid is supplied by this upper lateral cutaneous nerve of arm right and the dorsal ramae of upper thoracic nerves the dorsal ramae of upper thoracic nerve over the back that is over the scapula so over back of the scapula is supplied by the dorsal ramae of upper thoracic nerves next coming to the superficial fascia contains in addition to moderate of course the superficial contains some amount of fat and also cutaneous nerves the inferior lateral part of platysima is arising from deltoid fascia so what it means the superficial fascia uh, contains in addition to moderate amount of fat and also it contains cutaneous nerves and the inferior lateral part of platysma platysma will be here the inferior lateral part of platysma is arising from the deltoid fascia till here completely deltoid fascia so the platysma is arising from here means even it is arising from the deltoid fascia next coming to the deep fascia the deep fascia is covering the deltoid sends numerous septa between its fasciculi so the subscapularis you know subscapularis will be on the anterior surface right supraspinatus infraspinatus fascia provide origin to the part of respective muscle so they also give some origin to the deltoid muscle so we will see about the deltoid muscle next so that you can understand so this is all about the surface landmarks of scapula region very simple